It's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. It is two months until the banquet event launches. It's also less than two months when the... Actually, it's a lot less than that when it comes to the Cyber Weekend deals. And it is two months and a bit until the end of the banquet event. Hello. Welcome to a video about... I think something we, we talked about last month, but it's another kind of forewarning to everybody. The banquet event and Cyber Weekend are going to come at you well before you know it, and there's still things that weave themselves into the greater, the greater good, the yeah, the the t basically the sinister deals, uh, the um, the banquet tickets. The banquet tickets at the moment are a really important thing to remember because they will s technically, on paper, save you units. But they may not. There's a lot of missing, mis not misinformation, but things that we know and things that we don't know about these particular deals right here. What do we know? Well, we know that we can get greater banquet crystal tokens, which, depending on the one that you're going for, will yield a certain amount, and the rest you'll have to top up by going, oh, uh, you know, lower players, I'll get the six star. Fine. Then what you'll need to do is grab more of these ones right here, of the straight to buy, uh, or your. Um, of the ilk of myself, you're in Valiant position and you're grabbing this, which means you get 10. I think a lot of us are able to get 10 depending on what content is available to do. We've talked about like, you know, doing this gets this and I've probably done a video or mentioned an MCN where we're up to a banquet tickets and as well the importance of them for further down the line. What content you've been able to do, right? That's not the main point of this particular video, but it is on the unit acquisition, which is important. Units spend on crystals at banquet event equals points. Points in banquet event gives good things. That's, I, mean, that's, I don't need to explain it any further. You know what the score is if you've done several ones before. If you're new to the game, then that's something fresh to you. It's actually going to be, going to be the first year I'm going to do proper shorts uh, guides as well as the long form content and the Google Sheets. So I'm looking forward to delivering a lot of this kind of like helpful content to everybody. But anyway, for this video, we're going to be focusing on unit acquisition because it's crunch time. It, it really is crunch time for you getting the last uh, amounts of units. I've talked about like where I'm up to with unit acquisition. You can see at the top there, it's 18640. Uh, I did actually accidentally buy something, which I was like, oh, why did I buy this? Um, and that was I did buy a Revive and Potion bundle deal. But to be honest, I don't think that's too much of a bad thing. Anyway, uh, yeah. So without me kind of like talking about stuff that's happened in my life, let's talk about just talk about the facts of where we're up to and what we've got left. But what we know we have left is Kabam actually confirmed to us when the banquet event is going to end. Uh, if you go to your Traders Outpost store and you go to there, it says 70 days. At the point of recording a video, it is 70 days. The, for the whole structure of this video, is we're doing 69 days. Just again, just to kind of repeat that. The video is based on 69 days and uh, 10 weeks until the end of the banquet event, which is signaled in by the event up there. Yes, it does say 70, hour, 70 days and 23 hours. That's because I'm recording this video on a Thursday and uploading it on a Saturday. Got that out of the way. Right, so let's get into the point of how many more units you can farm before the end, the end of the banquet event. So providing it ends on January 3rd, which it should be, you are able to get this amount of units here, 3,725. We'll just get a red arrow by it just to point it out, uh, which is there. 3,725 units if you're a free-to-play player. If you're a spending player and you buy the summon sigil, you can get a bit more. This doesn't take into consideration double track. We'll talk about that in a second, which is still yet to come in, but that is one of these one-offs and special events. Right here, you can see there's 69 22 hour solo events. It's actually a bit more than that. But the biggest thing that could be a factor into this is the Super Daily event could come back. And if it does come back, it does skew things. It aligns things more here because you could say if you take 69, you times it by 24 uh, there and then divide it by 22, then you'll probably find that um, there's a lot more 22 hour solo events like it could be like 70 whatever it is 72 or 73 but um actually i think that'd be a bit excessive i think it's probably like one or two difference there 
Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, uh, we're just going with 69 times 25 units equals 1,725. These are where your largest amount of units come from. Oh, well, that's not much, Rich. Well, there's a difference between getting, uh, what is that? Six? No. It's a bit less than six, actually. It's, well, we'll just go with, it's, well, it's five, isn't it? Five of the Greater Banquet Crystals. Is that going to mean something? Extra 10K could be. Could give you an extra 10K. Could give you more. So don't write that off. The same way that you could take your units with this and invest them in the Cyber Weekend deals if you're close to something or not close to something. I've got 18,000 units. If I bump that up to 21,000, I could get some decent stuff. I don't know. It, we have to turn on the deals. You can also get Cyber Weekend deals. Open up and go, well, none of this is really any good for me. I do actually predict that we're going to see some good deals this time around but uh, uh, that is just based on the way that we are in the game i think paragon will probably get something a bit better than they got in july 4th deals valiant players would be happy and all the other lower lower rarities will probably be happy uh, as well but well i will do like a thorough prediction i think next month uh, just before the deals go live so for one-offs and special events i am predicting a 2630 unit amount we've got 300 to collect in the double track Story mode, 9.2, maybe someone's got 100% of story mode. You may add a bit more onto it, possibly. Banquet event always gives some units within the milestones, within the... Well, that's that's one of them. I think you might get some more. I think you might double that amount if you go with the Alliance one. Well, we'll go 1,100, but it could be a bit more than that. Maybe some Fabulous Crystals with a, a very unexpected Deadpool-based event or Platinum Pool event, like a Platinum Palooza type thing possibly or there's going to be a free kabam thing that they'll run um in some solo events so this could, again this could be more of like 3630 free units that kabam will give out uh, to the player base there's a good chance of that so if we're also doing a little bit of an arena grind depending on what you do and of course the usual thing that i normally kind of you know talk about let's just skip to the t let's skip to the good bit eh? the totals so, depending on the extent of unit grind you want to do, if you want to just go with the Alliance core areas and special random unit giveaways, which we've talked about, you could see over 6,300 units. I think it could be a bit more than that, to be truthful. In the more arena grinder, because there will be people out there who want to do a bit of grinding, and even, even if you just do the lower end grind, which is the summoner trials up to milestone 12, which isn't totally excessive, so, and add in maybe a bit of RNG, like a tooth K uh, uh, of those units that you could pick up. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. 11,515 units. Right now, you can go and farm that. Or don't. It's up to you. You've then got um, higher end grind. Yeah, 20K units, possibly. Possibly more, possibly less. You'd like to go with more. So there's still a good chunk open right now to, to farm in a very short space of time. This could give you a relatively solid type of, um, uh, of, of banquet event. But I would stress that what you get for that, if you, if you follow the channel since the start of the year, you'll know about what I put out. And it will be something I'll be putting out next year. But I want to make sure next year that it's done better. Um, whether or not I'll be a full-time, back to full-time content creator. As I said, I'm still thinking about that. But there's a lot of factors that have to be planned in for me doing something like that. Um, more on that, I think, dependent on how the Marvel Rivals channel goes and an idea I've got for the second channel, um, as well as, say, improving this channel, which, again, we'll have to talk about it. So... If you want to get a 1% to 5% solo, you know, finish in banquet event, you might have to front up 38,250 units. Have a look back at what you currently got now. It's like saying, I've got 1,860 units now. If I wanted to be getting that this time around, I would have to start now, focusing on farming units. And, I mean, I don't have the time for it at the moment, uh, although my weekends are starting to free up. I've noticed I've got less things on my job list, uh, so I can start focusing back on gaming and, um, you know, content creation and planning better. So, yeah, two. I've got to find another two, 20, 20k units, which is actually possible, but I would have to kind of, 
yeah, just go flat out until the 3rd of January. So it's possible. If you've got a bit more than that, if you've got more than that, then great, you might be getting more. Or should I hedge all my bets with the Cyber Weekend deals? I'm not doing that. I'm definitely not doing that. I, if I had the extra units, I would, but I don't have the time to refarm the units uh, for Banquet Event. And I really want to focus in more on that than I would do on Cyber Weekend uh, with the investment. If you wanted a low end of uh, Banquet, 4% to 5%, 18,000 units. So I'm already set, set for that. And that's why I'm kind of leaving it. Anything I get more is a bonus. And I maybe want to do a video of, at the end of January just going or after the event results come in and go, uh, I farmed 18,000 or 20,000 or whatever thousand units for free and this is what I got as a non-spending player. Um, I think that's probably the standard. And then next year, try and see if I can up my game with with that once the, you know our house stuff is all kind of like sorted and calm and... Um, and Marvel Rivals is um, I found out how it, that lies with its performance but uh, yeah um, cool this is or uh, the, finally if I wanted to get top 2000 of Battlegrounds I'd have to do a lot more so if you wanted that you're going to have to push there and if you want a 6 to 10% solo then 15k units now something I need to stress before I end the video is those amounts of units for investment to take home could be higher like I'll predict what I think is going to be fair. However, as things have gone over the years is, it's gone higher. And I think that the way that Kabam have allowed more access to greater banquet crystals that like they're doing with this kind of greater banquet sinister bundle thing, these things at the top here, I think it's going to push scores higher as a result because people have already got more free points to get on the ladder. Plus adding more that they'll give for free. We'll do an assessment when it comes to the banquet event launch, but I do have some theories about that, and I'm going to see if that's... Well, I did have a theory. I put out the video. I said about it. Um, we'll have to see how that transpires. Anyway, that's been it for the video. Gives you a bit of perspective of how many units are available. Good luck in the grind if you are going to invest. And if you're going to start now, start now, or Cyber Weekend it. It's down to you. Bye.